No, Paul, I'm good. I was planning on getting an editor and using some AI skills to be able to do this stuff. That'll be fine, won't it? <clears throat> no. <laughs> no, it won't, because in fact, you and I both know that when someone comes across as if they are an AI bot version of themselves, we step back a little bit because we don't trust that to be an actual person. Not only that, but let's look at what editors can and cannot do. Now, I've been working with editors for a very long time, and the truth is this. You can gussy up something in order to make it a little bit better, but you can't make something that is actually shitty or poor or mediocre into something great. You heard the expression putting lipstick on a pig? You can't actually turn something that is not up to par, not up to level, not up to the potential for something really good into something really good. Won't happen. I've seen a lot of people on here because we're living in this self-education revolution where people say, you just have to show up on a regular basis. That's enough. No, it's not. And I've seen people who are extraordinarily successful in certain ways, then hire a content batch creation editor to do their stuff. And because they haven't learned good presentational self-expression, in a masterful and compelling way, their content still sucks. Although it has all of the bells and whistles, the bells and whistles sit on top of something that looks and feels and tastes and smells mediocre and to bad. That's where AI won't substitute for your skills, and the best editor in the world won't substitute for your skills. Now, here's one more thing about an editor. They can't actually save you when you're doing a live presentation at a summit, at a lecture, at a live thing in front of a real audience. No editor in the world can actually save you from yourself if you're doing that. So let's move forward. Let's embrace what it means to be the authentic badass you that can bring it without that. Got it?